Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Denka and today I've prepared for you another video. If you feel like you want to open your hips a bit more and you want to stretch your legs, I think this is a perfect video for you today. So enjoy! We'll start in mountain pose, Tadasana. Feet slightly apart. Realize the connection of the points on your feet with the mat. Straight back. Draw belly slightly in. Push chest outward. Crown of the head is pulling up. Connect with your breathing. Long and deep breaths. Inhale, reach your arms up and with exhalation we'll slowly fold forward. It's a loose fold so we want to have everything completely loose. Our head, we can do some knots, yes and no. Are just hanging there like monkeys and breathing. Now we'll make the forward fold a bit more active so tangle your arms behind your back. We want to throw the arms behind our head. Let's include our belly muscles and Push the belly a bit closer towards the thighs. Head is still loose. Great, entangle the arms, draw your chin to chest and slowly roll back up. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, we'll go once more to forward fold, but this time we'll grab our shins from behind. We want to touch our thighs with belly and always maintain this connection, even though the knees are bent. Inhale, half forward fold. Our spine is nice, long and strong. Exhale, palms on the floor. And we'll go to plank pose. Breathe. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Upward Facing Dog. Open your chest. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Let's walk out the feet since it's our first Downward Facing Dog today. Come to stable, hold and breathe. Inhale, reach right leg up. Exhale, foot between the palms. Put your knee on the floor and lift up. Now we'll try pushing our hips forward and down. Just simply doing that. <laughs> 
Breathe and push lower and forward. Let's draw the belly in a little bit to open the front part of the hip even more. Well done, let's put the palms on the floor and lift your left knee up. The back leg is strong and straight. Inhale, reach your right arm up towards the ceiling and look towards the palm. Breathe. Open your chest. Exhale, palm back down, this time from the inside part of the thigh and open our back foot to 45 degrees and we'll lift up the left arm up and look towards the ceiling. Opening our hips here and our left shoulder. and allowing ourselves to have a bit of rotation in our spine. Great job, palm back down on the floor, knee back down. And now we wanna walk out the foot to the outer side of our mat and open the right hip to lizard pose. So we are gently pushing on the right knee to open. Breathe, send the oxygen towards the hip. Great job. Let's go back to the center. Palm on the floor. And bend your back knee. And grab your foot with the right arm. Firstly, we want to push our hips lower and forward and then push the foot closer to our butt. I know this might feel very, very tense, so watch out, be very gentle and work with your breathing. Great job, release the foot back on our palms. Keep the feet where they are and just move your butt backwards above your back knee. Now what's important here, we wanna push the left hip forward and the right hip backwards. And now just fall over our right knee. Inhale, prolong the spine a bit forward. Exhale, push a bit lower. Don't forget to push the left hip forward and the right hip backwards. Deep inhalation. And exhale just a little bit closer with our belly to the thigh. Amazing. Rise up and move your butt backwards on your left heel. I know this is gonna sound funny, but I have to clarify that your heel is just in your crack. <laughs> All right, now let's fold over our right leg and completely relax there, hang in there. Your head is loose. Again, let's focus on long breathing. That will help us to go deeper in this stretch.
let's roll up and this time we will transfer to tabletop wrists under your shoulders, knees under your hips elbow creases facing each other inhale arch exhale chin to chest cat and cow inhale look up slightly and exhale look towards your belly last cycle it is always great to do cat and cow because our leg muscles are connected to our spine so it's always important also to stretch your back well done let's move to plank let's stay here a few seconds nice and strong and exhale chaturanga dandasana inhale upward facing dog and we'll exhale to downward facing dog adho mukha svanasana again we can walk out our feet but we should feel a abyssal difference between our left and right leg come to stable few breaths here and we'll go to the other side so lift left leg up exhale put the foot between the palms knee on the floor and again we'll just focus to push our hips lower and forward in order to stretch the front side of the right hip so again draw your belly slightly in so we are not bending too much in our lower back on the floor lift your back knee up and we'll stay here a few seconds the back leg is straight active and strong inhale lift our left arm up and breathe open the left shoulder It's also a great slight rotation for our back. Exhale, put the left palm on the mat, this time from the inside of the left thigh. Open the back foot. Inhale, reach the right arm up and look towards the arm. Breathe and hold strong exhale palm back on the floor knee back on the floor and we'll move our left foot to the outer side of our mat and pull the knee away from us open the left hip gently pushing with our left palm on the knee at the same time we want to push the hips also down and forward great palm back on the floor bend the right knee and grab the foot with the left arm again first we want to focus on pushing the hips down and forward and after that we are slightly and gently pushing the heel towards our butts focus 
focus on sending the oxygen to that part that is hurting the most and try to release this way. Last cycle of breaths. And release back on the floor. Palm on the mat. Let's leave the feet where they are and again move backwards with our hips above the knee. And focus pushing your right hip forward and your left hip backwards. Fold over the straight leg. We want to try actively pushing our belly towards the thigh. Inhale, prolong the spine a bit forward. Exhale, the belly closer a little bit towards the thigh. Great job! Let's roll up and move our butts again on our right heel. Inhale, exhale, fold over the left leg and relax here. Feel how your spine is slowly releasing and also the hamstrings. Last cycle of breaths. And roll yourself up. Now we'll move back to plank. Breathe in, breathe out, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Upward Facing Dog, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Walk out the feet this time. Your Downward Dog should really feel much, much easier than at the beginning. Realize how your body feels. forward and step between your palms back to forward fold chin to chest and roll yourself slow back to mountain pose tadasana i cannot fit here so i gotta move a little bit under the window great Now let's turn to the side and spread our legs quite wide apart and turn your toes a bit inward for better stability. With straight back and exhalation we'll fold forward. Let's put the palms on the floor or elbows if you can. Let's release here again. We can do some knots, yes and no. Now let's grab our right leg and pull with the arms towards the right leg. Again, we want to try to touch with our belly to the thigh, back to the center and to the left leg. Great, back 
to center, palms on the floor. And now we'll grab with both arms our ankles and actively push our head towards the floor. Breathe and release. If you can't touch with the head, just widen your feet a bit further. On the other hand, if your head is firmly pushing on the floor, then put your legs closer to each other. Okay, back up and heel toe your feet closer. And we'll go to yogic squat position. Our heels are on the floor. For some it might be hard to balance, so if you can manage, just be on your toes, it's totally fine. Open the hips by pushing away the knees with your arms. Release, palms on the floor. We'll stay here and just straighten our right leg up. So you can stay here. If you have problem with balance, you can lift your right arm up. Or if you can manage, take a bind. So unite your palms between your back and open your right shoulder and look up. Okay, back to center and we'll move to the other side so left leg is straight again three options for total beginners it's totally fine if you stay here or try to lift your left arm up towards the ceiling or take a bind And open your chest and left shoulder. Hold a tiny bit more. And let's put palms on the mat. We'll go once more time back to yogic squat. So those who were on toes Maybe try to put your heels down this time. Palms back on the mat. And we'll put our knees on the floor. And swing your right leg over the left. Like you see right now, make some space between the feet and sit down. This pose is called Gomukasana and it's super tough for some people, especially with tight hips. And now grab our palms between our shoulder blades. If you can't grab yourself behind the back, don't worry, perhaps it's beneficial if you use your strap just to hold on something. This is a great pose because we are opening our hips and shoulders at the same time. Great job, release. We'll go back to our knees. So entangle your legs. I'm gonna show it to you from behind this time. So let's swing this time our left leg over the right. Make space between your feet so you can fit there with your bum. And sit down. 
We want to have both of our sit bones on the floor. And again, we'll grab our palms and open the shoulders, straight spine. We are pushing our chest forward and out. Hold and breathe, long deep breaths. Great job, let's release and we will we'll move to seated position. I want you to put your left leg straight in front of you and grab your right leg as you see right now. Now I'm going to show it to you from the side. We want to grab the leg as we were holding a baby. If you can't tangle your fingers, don't worry. You can always hold the shin. And now we want to pull our right leg towards the body. It's important to have straight back here and we can wiggle the leg side to side. Great job, release. You can shake off your legs and we'll go to the other side. So again, grab your left leg as it was a baby, straighten your spine and breathe. Push your leg gently towards your body, but do not round that spine. Put the foot back down, make yourself comfortable on the floor and now we'll just fall over our legs completely loose so your spine is nice and rounded and the neck is loose, your head is loose so it might happen that your neck is very tense, hurting or anywhere on the way along your spine it's really pulling don't worry about it it's completely normal just keep on breathing and it will help you Last couple of breaths. And slowly roll up. Let's move on our back. And we'll lift to a short shoulder stand. So support your back with your palms. Now slowly put your legs over your head. Halasana. Breathe. Tangle your arms together. And stay here for a little bit. 
It's totally fine if your legs can't reach the floor. Just try to keep them straight. Okie dokie. Now stay where you are and just bend your knees and put them towards the ears. And breathe. Amazing! Now let's lift up slowly, legs back up to the ceiling, palms under the back, now palms on the floor and I want you to go slowly vertebra by vertebra down, lift the straight legs, slowly towards the floor. Done. Let's balance the previous asanas by Matsyasana, that is a fish pose. So put your palms under your bum, open your chest and try to put the crown of your head on top of the mat. Great job, release and now we will enter our final pose today, Shavasana, so turn your palms towards the sky. Your feet are falling slightly towards the sides and I want you to release the whole body. Aim your focus on the right foot and imagine as if a warm energy was entering this foot and releasing it. The warm energy is moving further up to your shin, through your knee, all the way to your right thigh. Now it's also reaching your right hip and now the whole right leg is under influence of this warm energy making your leg completely relaxed. Let's focus on our left foot now and imagine the warm energy entering also there. It's spreading towards the ankle, the shin, knee and it's releasing also the left thigh. Finally it reaches their left hip and now you can feel like both of the legs are completely relaxed and falling down, they are heavy. Let's feel the warm energy moving more up towards your belly and your chest. Releasing every tension there is left in your body. It's going towards the right shoulder, through your arm, towards the elbow. Feel like your forearm is releasing and getting heavy as well. The energy is slowly moving through the right wrist and to the whole palm. Your right arm is heavy. Focus on your left shoulder and allow the energy to move even there and spread down to your arm 
towards your elbow, reach your forearm, wrist, and let it absorb the whole palm and the whole left arm. Focus on your neck and let the energy spread even there, releasing your neck muscles. Now feel the warmth spreading around your head. Release your eyes, nose, ears, relax your lips and even tongue in your mouth. Soften the skin underneath your hair. Let the energy completely surround your body. Slowly realize where you are, come back to your body, start focusing on your breath and start moving your fingers on your feet, on your palms. You can do any movement you feel like. You can grab your knees towards yourself and massage the lower back. And now let's slowly roll on the side. Stay here for a couple of seconds. And now with your palm push to the floor and lift yourself up back to seated with eyes still closed. Spine nice and straight and long. Now put your palms together and make heat by rubbing them against each other. Once they are warmed up, put them on your eyes. Inhale through your nose and exhale everything out through your mouth. <sighs> Inhale with your nose and exhale <sighs> everything out. Last time, inhale and exhale with your mouth everything you don't need anymore. Let's put our palms away, open our eyes, and I want to thank you for joining me and investing your time in yourself, in your happiness. I hope you feel great now and you'll join me next time. Namaste.